Hi, my name's Anna. I'm doing a video. Uh, I told myself I'd do one two to three times a week so I can try to uh, gain subscribers and viewers um, so I can reach my goal of obtaining uh, people to sell jewelry to. Um, but I'm going to show some items that I picked up from the thrift store yesterday. At, um, I've got some really nice pieces of jewelry yesterday, uh, named brands. I have, uh, Coro, uh, Trafari, Crown Trafari. Um, I found Sarah Coven Tree, uh, Monet. I found some Bakelite. And, um, I found a bracelet that looks like a John Yerman, but I, I don't believe it is. But it's nice still nonetheless. I've got some nice necklaces. I got a necklace that's, um, wedding cake necklace. Italian beads, uh, glass beads, Amone rose quartz, but, and I also found this really, you see that, beautiful, um, tra vanity tray, it's glass, mirror underneath, and it's holding my jewelry now, and it has these beautiful glass pieces, it almost looks like a platter, but it's a vanity tray, it's very nice, um, I'm going to start showing you things I'm going to do it on the table, so I'm going to take the mirror away from myself in mean, the video. Yeah, I will keep it on myself. Um, I have this huge bangle. I believe it's Bakelite. I have to test it. I need to buy 409. I can't find it in any stores in the surrounding areas, so I have to order it online. But um, it's embroidery, and it's covered coated in plastic and I believe it's Bakelite. Now I was thinking it may be Lucite but I I really think it is Bakelite. It has some yellowing on the inside like uh, Bakelite uh, tends to have. But this is a big one. Um, I almost feel like it's too big for me. I'm five foot. Um, this is probably for a little bit of a taller woman. Maybe close to six foot, five eight and over. It looks ridiculous on me but it's beautiful. Um, the designs on it are exquisite. This will be on my Mercari site. I have to price it. I have to figure out if it's Bakelite or Loose site. But sounds like Bakelite. I also have this um, bracelet that I found yesterday. It has etchings in it. This is definitely, I'm pretty certain uh, that it is Bakelite. It has uh, engravings all over it. Designs of... Uh, different designs, <laughs> like lines uh, all over it. It's nice, and I'm pretty certain this is Bakelite. Yeah, there. Anybody could wear this. This will be on my site when I figure out how to price it, if it's Bakelite or not. Those two bangles I found an enamel. Almost looks like a closing egg. But this is just a golden, it has a marking in it. I have no idea what it is. I have to investigate it further. I, I can't tell anything like it. And I don't have any special equipment to even enlarge it to show it to anybody. If anybody would see this and know, but I'll research it. But it's pretty. It's got butterflies around it, leaves, flowers, and it's an enamel. Um, like snaps that have been. It's pretty. That is a name brand, I just don't know what one. This is an Avon, vintage Avon, uh, with a piece of jade on it. I could be imitation. Most likely is because, um, although they do put uh, stones like jade into things that aren't real gold or whatever, but this is an vintage Avon. It's small bracelet. Whatever, I'm not going to put it on. I really need to see that on me, I guess. But it's pretty. Let's see. Let me put something behind it. Maybe I'm trying to learn here. I have some comment, like suggestions from a family member, which were good. I do need to put something. Like, look, I guess we can do it like this, too. Um, this is black and white. You can see that clearly. When I had it on my arm, I'm sure you could. Um, this is a really pretty. No markings on it, but it's beautiful, I think. It has a brooch. Two, I guess, I don't know, carnations maybe, red flowers. I don't really know what kind of flowers they are. Here. 
really glittery and shiny. Something like this. It has no name on it. There's a lot of red rhinestones. They're not pronged. I saw something like this for like ten dollars, twelve dollars. It's pretty nice, but I don't know if that really helps. <laughs> I'm learning. <laughs> there, it looks good on a white. But right there, when it's two flowers, it's pretty. Uh, it doesn't look real old to me. Class pulls on the side. No markings. Probably 80s, 1980s. It's pretty though. That's a good picture of it. And I've found a trafari, and this is a rare brooch. I looked it up. Just a regular trafari, I believe. Shame that these glasses don't work well enough for me to be able to tell. But this is the yellow leaf, um, trafari leaf with a, a very good view, with a um, little ladybug on it. And this is from this night, the 1960s. I looked it up because I was excited. It's not often, I mean, I've had a lot of beautiful trafari necklaces and earrings and bracelets, but the brooches, it's not often I come across a trafari brooch. This is about three inches. It's enamel. The ladybug is actually kind of there, like separated. It has a little stud. It's well made. It's gold toned, 1960s, really cute, probably a highly desirable item. This is something I'd hold on to for a while until I figure out how much it's worth. And I, I wouldn't sell it outrageously high. I try to, I keep some of them. I am trying, I'm building up a collection of different makers. This is a really, really beautiful Monet brooch. Um, so it looks like a ribbon type of thing or a flower, but it's very, very pretty. Um, that doesn't help me. Maybe put it on and show it to me. But not really, especially not with this color. I wait over my shirt. Whatever. Um, it has a rhinestone in the center. And a bunch of rhinestone chips around. No breathing coals. But this is a Monet. This is a nice Monet. Um, this is probably the 60s. It's very glittery. This looks like crystals, but I'm not certain it's probably rhinestones. But 1960s Monet. It's really pretty. My daughter would really like that probably. She wears them on her lab coat. The patients like them. But, um consider that for her. <laughs> I have um, really, really beautiful uh, Coro now. I haven't decided what year this is. It has like, um, it has gold. It looks almost looks like a gold plating on it. And they, they don't always advertise on the older jewelry. I'm placing this, I really don't know, 50s. But it's a um, pink rhinestone. Um, I'm trying to get the clasp to close back up. The pink rhinestone um, coro with fall pearls or fake pearls in the rhinestones. The rhinestone, the middle one's studded. Um, it's pronged, actually, I mean. And um, there's the back of it. It's the back. And this is the front, which I can just hold it like this, really. It's pink. There's pink stones surrounding the larger one at the number of there's eight of them this is only like an inch brooch it's really pretty and coro brooches of this um however i was going to say but of this make are they go for a half decent price and i'd probably save that one perhaps for a while until i figure it out again um this has a new name on it, but it's really, really adorable. It's a poodle. A poodle with her gold, I mean, her diamond leash. Diamond studded leash on the, uh, I just can't. I need to work at this. Um, <laughs> you see, she has a rhinestone leash and a, um, she has enamel painted on her. This is a toy poodle. A fake fall pearl. It's a fake pearl with a lamp post outside she's 
and it's painted with um, enamel paint over, but she's pretty it's cute. It's a no name if, that I haven't seen a name on it. It's really adorable. This is unique. Never seen anything like this. I don't really know how to date it. I'm gonna have to look and see if I can figure out how to date it. I would say it's. I really don't know. Have to look. Let me look at the back of it. Something you can tell by looking at the back of a brooch. Something looks like it's possibly rhodium plated. I don't know. Just by that shiny. Let's see how it looks. They don't fade. They did really a good job on the older jewelry, but these are too tiny. I have a Trafari, Crown Trafari mushroom. A little mushroom. It's cute. Get up close and personal here. At my age, I should never do that. But. There it is. Um, I need I need to like get a pillow. You know, what? I'm not going to get a pillow right now. But whatever, it's a tiny, tiny, tiny mushroom here, a golden one. And a lot of times when I put this on, I'll just roll it out and I'll just like one of those little things. People jump and all sorts of things. Not doing too well. <laughs> but anyways, here we go. It is what it is. It's a tiny mushroom. It's cute. It's a little crown safari. Also have a tiny little apple, silver tone, crown trafari apple. These are like maybe an inch, maybe less, three quarters of an inch, those two. Sarah Coventry, brown enamel, brooch and earrings, matching set. The earrings are clip. I place these around the 60s probably. I'd have to look to investigate further. There's a brooch. The brooch is two inches, maybe a little longer. Let's see how you would wear that. Probably like that. Brown enamel. You can see the brown, right? Silver tone. It's in really, really great condition. And these are a pair of clip earrings that match it. It's our Coventry. I have to price it. All of this will be on my page. There's a couple of things there that may not make it to my carry because I may keep them or give them away to family that I know will like them. This, oh, well, this has me stumped. And I'm getting semi good. I'll figure it out myself. I won't pay for an appraisal or anything. Um, this isn't worth paying for an appraisal. It's probably not even worth what the appraisal costs. But, anyways, I'd like to know the year of it. Now, it has an inside box, it's class. A nice one. It's made rather well. And it has some creative um, patterns on it. I'm thinking this possibly is from the 40s. No, I have to investigate further. I found the earrings and the brooch together. And then as I was mooseling along, because I looked through all the jewelry for like an hour and a half, I found the bracelet and I was really excited. It's really beautiful. It's a pinkish. Almost like orange, well, it's pink, not orange. Um, right here. fits me good to my oh, small person. Um, fits well. It's pretty nice. I, it's something of, um, it has no name on it that I could find. I'll have to investigate further to make sure, but it has the box clasp and just these different shapes. I'm thinking, I don't know. I have to figure it out. There's a bangle. It's of nice weight. Feels um, like a decent pair of piece of costume jewelry. They made the costume jewelry extremely nice uh, back in the earlier parts of the decade. Like if, I mean, okay, of the 1900s. Uh, these are screw backs. This is what made me believe that it could be that it was it, with the design in the screw back. That it was the 40s because they brought out the clips in the 40s um late 30s i think early 40s and the story back could have remained for a few years after that but um once supplies are in out they, they no longer make screw back earrings and these are screw back so it's, it's making me think 40s could be 50s but the design looked 40s to me but they're nice they have um these are a 
pair of matching, which hopefully the camera is apparently making it difficult to see the color, but here I'll put them on this and then I can just show them. That's a good idea. I've seen uh, people do this before um, when showing jewelry, like you stick it on the uh, on something darker and it can help. But if I look a little rough, I had, as I mentioned in my first video, I don't know if anybody's even seen that, that will see this. I have my dog, partial customer, my daughter, when I don't have her, I have a small cleaning business, very small at this point, and I did an eight hour cleaning on a 3,000 square foot home. I had my old, one of my older daughters with me, but we did a combined 16 hours worth of work, eight hours. I went to the bathroom once. <laughs> so I look a little rough if I do, but I wanted to make sure I made my video. Because I know you need to put a video up every so often in order to even attempt to be successful. You have to be consistent and determined in anything that you do. But there you go. Can't really see the color. Honestly, the earrings look a little lighter for some reason than like the brooch has a nice a nice color to it. It almost looks like a um it's shimmery like it looks. It's um it's almost like a closing a bracelet in a way, but it's not closing a but it has a lot of um just gold trimming all over it. And it has a shimmering white in the middle and the pinkish orangish, like a if you know what I'm talking about, if you ever seen pinkish orange. I'm hoping it's showing well color on the uh the brooch. It's it's a nice brooch. It's really nice. I'll probably hold on to this. Well, until I figure out what it is. Plus, I think it's fantastic. To me, it is. I was real excited when I found it. I mean, probably more excited than anybody is watching this, but you'll find something like that every day in a thrift store. This, I don't know what it is, but <laughs> it's a no name. It's pretty. It has onyx looking stones on it. Two onyx looking stones and silver tone and gold tone. It reminds me of a, um, like a, I think it's John Yerman, if I'm pronouncing that right. Very slow, but it's not. It's unmarked. And his are gold and silver. And these stick to a magnet. So I can do that elimination right away. I believe this stuck to a magnet. Let's see. Indeed it did. Look at that. I carry this magnet with me when I go to the thrift store. Okay, this little silver necklace. I paid a few bucks for it to, uh, <laughs> I like it. It's a belt. And I have my extra strong magnet that's for jewelers and stones or glass. I take it as that. These would not be on it in whatever kind of material this is. But I think it's really nice. And I have a nice, um, a nice brace that this matches with. Or whatever. That's mine. But this is the one that I have to investigate it further. Um, it sticks lightly. Okay. It's definitely not gold or silver pure. Gold or silver pure would never stick to a magnet. Even gold filled materials do not stick. Plated do. Filled, they take the other alloys and they mix it direct, the gold directly with it. And if the magnet does not stick to that typically, I, I mean, I've never come across it. I haven't been doing this that long, so I could be wrong, but I don't think it does. But this one, it looks like his bracelet. Now, I didn't see any markings, even the back of it. It's, it's very well made. I don't know if he made a costume, um, a cheaper makes of his jewelry, but this looks just like one of his bracelets. Now, I'm not going to pull it open to get it on. Um, I don't want to break it because I can I can sell this for a decent amount of money. I know that. It's a pretty nice bracelet. It's heavy. It's sturdy. It could be a plated. I don't know. I have to investigate him further. It has purple. And white. Purple in the center. White and then green stones on the edges. I don't know if you can really see that, but it's a nice bracelet. It's heavy. This is a really, and I gotta test him with my gold tester. I couldn't find a marking for gold, but Zaborski, I think if I'm pronouncing that right, it's a tiny little elephant. Zaborski elephant. He has um, little tiny blue green rhinestone eyes, and he's clustered with white rhinestones. A lot of times they're, I have a pair of earrings, they are gold. 
like surrounding around and then a post is white and the surrounding around is a no post is yellow gold and the surrounding around is a white gold so i'm going i'm going to test him i have a testing kit to test gold and silver i'm going to test a tiny little elephant he's three quarters of an inch he's adorable i would seen him post it for quite high that's why i gotta test him and Maybe he has some gold. If he is gold or not, I'm not sure. Here's my my pan, my beautiful. Um, this is just I just fell in love with this. I had to buy it. It wasn't even on sale. I got it at the thrift store. I do a lot of vintage shop. That's why I call myself Vintage Thrifterina. Thank you for coming to It's um, it's good sized and it's perfect for holding jewelry. I have a few more things I got. I got this, this looks like this, I believe this is from the 1950s. It has a really, really, really nice inside box clasp. It's an oval and very nice wedding cake beads. They're strung separately. I mean, they have a, um, a knot in between each one. They're strung on silk. It's very nice. This is about, I don't know, about 18 inches or so. Mm. Doesn't go well with this. That's nice though. Not really something I would want, but these sell really, really well. Especially when I have to test and see if this is gold tuned. Do a little more checking around on it because a lot of times on things like this, I'll put a piece like silver with gold plating over it, or else just gold. But there they are. The pink, blue, and green. Blue with pink and green and blue over them. They sound nice. To me, I like the sound of pearls. They're not pearls, though. Those are cross beads. These, I have mentioned these in one of my other videos. If I have people had actually looked at my videos, I know they get boring for people watching other people's videos. But these are ones of the 1905 um, clasp. And they're individually strung and they're on lace. And these pearls, these are, I think I investigated them farther to see them. They're brownish, like. I don't know what kind they are, but they have the difference in size like they do. They're, they're, I don't really know if they're graduated. They're all kind of, not going smaller to bigger, but they're different size. They have, and they're gritty. I know you're not supposed to put your teeth on them. They don't appear to be dyed. I checked them with a magnifying glass with um, lighting. So these are something I don't know if they do, if fresh. <laughs> I've never heard of fresh brown fresh rubber pearls. I gotta check into these. I won't sell these until I know if they're high end, like really good pearls, or if they're and if they are really good pearls, they may just stay with me. These are fake pearls, fake glass pearls, fake ones. Um, it's really nice though. Look how long that is. I haven't sold these yet. But this is something you could um, I can make a little bit of money off them. They could double or triple them, like. Change the length up. I haven't placed them. They're not real. They're nice though. Okay, nice shiny baby blue and nice shiny white color of pearls. And these are long. I don't know how long. 30 some inches, let's guess. It could be longer. I found this necklace yesterday that I found and thought it was a little interesting. It has a lobster claw clasp, so I know this is after the 1970s, because that's when they brought the lobster claw out. And it sticks to a magnet, so... Oh, well, anyways, 1970s, they start using things that stick to a magnet. But it has this little, like, glass wedding cake beads on it. And... Nice. Other glass stones are Aurora Borealis. Other glass... It's, it's pretty nice. I haven't priced it. I wouldn't sell this for a whole lot. I'd sell this for like 10, 12 bucks. It's a nice necklace, but it's not made out of great materials. There's a couple of nice beads on it, like with the um, Italian beads on it, but it's not worth a whole lot of money. This is something that I was really excited about, too. I've been like really, really liking a Monet, okay? Because I found some really nice pieces of Monet, and I know Monet can go high in price. I always thought it was junk, right? Oh, man, Monet, oh, that ugly. I mean, it's all costume jewelry, but 
Um, except for an occasion when you find like something that's silver or gold that they may stake in or a pair of pearls because they don't know how to judge what's a pearl or what's not. But this is a rose quartz. Bonet. Double stranded. I have to test it. Let's see. Doesn't stick. So this could very well be silver. I gotta check it out a little further. I doubt it though. I mean, I don't know. Monet may have, but it has a signature Monet class. So they're double like safety class, but they I think they patented that, like they did the pair of steerings with the part that goes around the back that's actually patented by Monet. I read that. But this is a rose quartz. It's hard to see. Let's put it on this. <laughs> Actually, I need one of the stuffed ones. I'm a work in progress here. I only really buy things as I can afford them. I can't go out and buy everything. I mean, plus, that's not how you do something when you start something. At least not me. I've never been somebody like a small cleaning business. I was doing well last year before the pandemic. But I didn't really have to put anything into that to do that. You just buy some cleaning supplies, and then you start doing it. Your business builds. You get referrals. I get a lot of referrals. I barely have to pay for it. Did. But um, with that, I... I have a today the house that we did was on the Mexican War Street. It was a quarter, three quarters of a million dollar home. It's beautiful. It was um, the area is not the best, but the house is really, really nice. Like a big Victorian row house. Um, huge. It was three thousand square feet, a lot of room, and it was updated very nicely. But um, I get a lot of referrals from people. That was a referral. But this is a rose like I always do. It's beautiful. It's Monet. It will stay for a while because I gotta buy myself the Monet book. It's a gift to myself. Not that expensive, but I typically don't go out and spend money on things when I don't have, you know, until I know I'm comfortable enough to do that. This is really, really pretty. This is a, I'm gonna double it up and put it on there to show the stones. These are Aurora Borales stones. This is the, what they look like. Beautiful necklace. It's long and has this beautiful, like, bluish, shiny rubber stones on it. I like that one. I have a long video here, don't I? I'm probably boring to of people. I guess I can be done. That will be it. <laughs> I, just, I wanted to get a video out there because I have determined to stay on track. And I don't give up easy, so. I will be around for a while trying to make my videos and trying to gain my subscribers. If you watch my video, please subscribe, even if this is terribly boring to you. <laughs> I'm kidding. I have a lot of nice jewelry, um, costume, name. I have a lot of the names. Um, I also have other collections I've showed in my bedroom. I sold some of them, though, on Mercari. I do sell. I sell on Mercari. It's the only place I sell. I have a link attached to each video that I do to my Mercari site, or you can just message me if you're interested in anything you've seen that I have. And... Okay. Thank you.